Hello Bruins! If you want to learn to navigate the databases like a librarian, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll be covering some advanced research skills and strategies. This video builds upon the information in our Database Basics tutorial, so if you haven't already watched that, I recommend clicking away and doing so now. For now, we'll be sticking with Search All Resources, since that's the place you'll be searching most of the time. We'll start by covering some more of the options that are available to you on this search results page. The ones covered in the Database Basics video, things like full text only, publication date, and source type, will be enough to help you find what you need the majority of the time, but if you're still having trouble, it's handy to know what other options are available to you. The search box. The first new strategy to know is that your search box at the top has more than one use. If you look to the left of where you type in your terms, you'll see that by clicking the drop-down, you can search for author or title instead of keyword. So if you know the name of what you need or know who wrote it, you might do better switching to that search type. You might find what you need without doing that, but if you're having trouble, knowing this can help. Additional filters. On the left, the Publisher and Publications filters are very similar. They let you search for where the source was created. Publisher will be used for books, whereas Publications will be used for articles of all types. The Content Provider filter is unique to search all resources. It's an option that will let you see what database the sources are coming from. While it's usually more useful to look in the databases themselves directly instead of using this filter, by looking in search all resources at the list of databases that come up, you'll get an idea for which databases will be the best match for your topic. It will be the ones with the highest number of results. The Advanced Search Page now you may have noticed while adding these filters that we have been adding them one at a time. If you ever want to add multiple filters at once to tailor your search to meet exactly what you need, then the advanced search page is the way to go. While this page can be overwhelming at first, as we go through it, you should recognize most of the options here. The first major change is that at the top, instead of one search box, there are three and you can add even more. You can type all your search terms into the same box, but what the system does is looks for a match of all of those words in no particular order. Breaking your search into multiple boxes here can help the system identify the main ideas of your search. So instead of typing in literary analysis of the book Life of Pi, you could break that into Life of Pi and literary analysis. You can also change these search boxes to OR if you had two ideas that might mean a same or similar thing. For example, Life of Pi and Literary Analysis or Symbolism. Or you can change it to NOT if there's a related term that keeps showing up that you don't want. For example, Life of Pi, NOT Film if I wanted the book and not the movie. As you scroll down, you'll see many of the filters we discussed before. Publication date, full text only, journal name. This page lets you select all of what you want before you begin searching. But we've already seen that it's not necessary to find those options, so you're free to use this page or the filters on the search results depending on what you prefer. Smart quotation marks. Let's say you know the title of what you're looking for. You can just type that title into the search box as is, and that might get you the right result. But because of the way the database works, it will search individually for each word, and if there's another source that happens to use all of the words you typed in anywhere in the text, that might be pulled instead. To get around this, you can either change the search type to title at the top, or you can use quotation marks to keep words and phrases together in the order you type them. If you do it that way, it will pull both the article you want and will also pull articles that reference that title, since again, it's looking for that phrase together, not just that phrase as a title. Going back to my earlier example, this also helps when looking for sources discussing a specific published work, so I might put Life of Pi in quotation marks. Detailed record. In Database Basics, I encourage you to click on a link with the word full text because most of the time you're looking to read through a source to see if it's what you need. But that isn't your only option. Clicking on the title of an article or book will take you to something called the Detailed Record page, or a page with in-depth information about this source and where it came from. If you're looking to figure out for yourself if a source has reliable information, this page is a great tool to help you do that. It will tell you the author, the publisher, whether it was part of a series, and more. The links here will just run searches on other works by the same author or publisher, so you'll need to run a separate Google search to learn more about them, but this record provides you 
you with all the information you need to do a background check on the source, so to speak. And just like when you're reading the article, you have various options to save this source if you're considering using it on the right side of the page, and I recommend using at least one of them. The Pearl Growing Research Method I have one final tip for you that will apply to any search system. Once you find one good source, there are several ways to find more like it. You could search for more sources by that author, either by using that link on the detailed records page, or by changing the search box at the top to look for author. You could look for that publisher or publication name, again, either using the link in the detailed record or by using the appropriate filter on the left side of the page. Or if the source you're looking at has a references page, you can look through that list, since all of those sources referenced apply to the same topic and your original author thought they were worth using. Then you can copy and paste the title of those articles in quotation marks into the search all resources box to see if we have them. Even if we don't, you can still request that article through interlibrary loan. There will be a separate video in the future on that process, but for now use the link in the description to find the request form. So those are some of the advanced researching skills that, again, you won't always need to utilize, but are handy to know when you're working against a deadline or are just having trouble finding what you need with the basics. Of course, you can always ask your librarians for help navigating all of our resources. One of the best ways to do that anytime is using the 24-7 chat on our website. Keep an eye out for future videos on other research skills on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and happy researching!